So could you tell us about what's happening here today? Yeah, today is a part of our road safety program that SAPOL run. And what we have is a group of children that we have uh, got in during the holidays and we try and teach them about the benefits of riding safely and the road rules and just encourage them to interact with the, the police and understand the right way and the safe way to do things. And what's the operation on Monday? On Monday, as you'd be aware, the, uh, the majority of children across the state will be returning to school. SAPOL will be running a high visibility statewide policing operation and we'll be targeting speeding drivers and driver, driver behaviour around uh, school zones. And I'd remind the public that whether the lights are flashing or whether they're not, if children are present, the speed limit is 25 kilometres an hour. I'd ask people to take responsibility, adhere to the speed around the school zones and just remember that these are our vulnerable road users. Quite often going back to school they do become excited and they may make poor decisions. So just be attentive and be aware that that is a possibility and, and comply with the uh, speed limits. How much of a problem is um, people adhering to the rules around schools? Obviously we've had people caught drug driving, um, even dropping their kids off to school. Yeah, it is a problem. Um, unfortunately a group of people are either choose not to comply with the speed limits or they're ignorant of uh, the speeds they should be travelling at around school zones. Will you be targeting drug and alcohol um, as well? Uh, we will be, yes. And what are the kind of risks, I mean it all seems pretty common sense, but what are the risks if people don't take care in school zones? Well the risks are that, uh, as I said, children are our vulnerable road users and the risks are that there could be serious injury or death that could occur. It's preventable, but we need people to take responsibility for their behaviour on the roads. And um, this operation is only running just for Monday? This particular operation will run on Monday. It will run in the morning and in the afternoon. But as you would be aware, police do regularly target school zones. How much will you be boosting police presence on that day? Every uh, area within the state, every local service area will be involved in this operation, including our specialist sections. When you've run operations like this before, what have um, you found? Unfortunately, we found that there's a large degree of non-compliance and road, road behaviour and driving behaviour that's just not acceptable. Uh, you might not have these on yet at the moment, but I'll chase them up. What are sort of the recent statistics of um, drive behaviour, particularly in school zones? Is there drug and driving, <coughs> drug and drink driving? Yeah, I, I don't have those numbers with me, so I'm sure our media section can provide those to you. So, and I guess it's not just up to motorists to be careful on the roads? Should no. Well? Most definitely. Pedestrians do have to take responsibility and uh, but again they're vulnerable road users and they need to be aware of the road rules and make safe decisions. And what kind of, um, how is this important what you're doing here today and what kind of things are you teaching kids? What we're teaching children is getting them to feel comfortable riding bicycles, getting them to understand the various um, significant road rules they need to comply with like stopping at uh, stop signs, being cautious when there's give way signs, crossing signs, uh, there's, a there's a mock railway uh, crossing here, just teaching them general awareness and road safety. So what would you say to parents this weekend wondering if they you know, should pop in? I'd say by all means the centre is open to the public, bring your children down here and uh, encourage them to get familiar with the uh, road rules and be comfortable riding a bike. Would there be any more severe punishments for people who are caught doing the wrong thing on Mondays? The double demerit points or anything <coughs> like that? No, double demerit points don't apply at this, at this point in time in South Australia. The recent, uh, I think it was a couple of days ago, the drug penalties, um, for people driving, a drug driving with kids in their car when they're caught, um, that's become a bit tougher. Can you, they might lose their licence. Yeah, that's right. There is provision within the new laws for the immediate licence disqualification when people drug drive. So and, to, and having children in the car is an aggravating feature. So just again, um, this operation, what, what is the goal on Monday for police and what's the warning to parents, I guess, and people travelling through school zones? The goal for police is to make sure that we have children safely returned to school. As I said, the uh, children are vulnerable road users and road users need to take responsibility, as do pedestrians, make good decisions so that everybody can return safely. And in the new law, um, it says if, if you can prove that they're not dependent on the drug, um, or if there is a dependence on the drug, they'll get their, their licence suspended. What does that mean? Depending on the um, criteria for the person detected driving, there is a provision within the legislation for people to have to go and be medically assessed to prove that they do not suffer from drug dependence.